Hello Popcorn Kit Crew. It's Miss V here and there's so many things going on right now that I felt that it was important to share a story with you. One of the ways that I've learned as a child and adult is to read and to research. When I didn't understand why people act the way they act in our world, in the news, on YouTube, there are a lot of things taking place right now. And when I was younger, I remember this book here. Can you see it? It's called Chrysanthemum. Now, what in the world can Chrysanthemum be about? A chrysanthemum is a beautiful flower, but for some reason, this story has a lot to do with feelings, it has a lot to do with friends, it has a lot to do with people who are not your friends, it has a lot to do with love, and it has a lot to do with jealousy. And in all of that, there's bullying involved in this story. So that means someone's feelings are getting hurt. Now as adults we all have encountered these feelings whether we've been on one side or the other. I want to share this book with you and if there are kids who are experiencing any of these areas always find someone to talk to always find someone who's going to listen to you and to hear your story. You ready? Here we go. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely said father and she was she was absolutely perfect her name must be everything she is said her mother her name must be absolutely perfect said her father and it was chrysanthemum her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew, and she was old enough to appreciate it. Chrysanthemum loved her name. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner. And she loved the way it sounded when she whispered it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. She loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake. And she loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with her fat orange crayon. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect. And when she started school, on the first day, Chrysanthemum wrote her name on... Let me start again. On the first day of school, Chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her brightest smile. She ran all the way to school. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum. 
school. But when Miss Chud took roll call, everyone giggled upon hearing Chrysanthemum's name. Look at Chrysanthemum's name. Right here. What do you think is going to happen, guys? It's so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on your name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. And you're named after a flower. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Miss Chud that Chrysanthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half as many letters as there are in the entire alphabet, Victoria explained. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. If I had a name like yours, I'd change it, said Victoria. As the students lined up to go home. I wish I could, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said mother. Welcome home, said father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag, and I'm named after a flower. Oh, pish, said mother. Your name is beautiful. And precious, and priceless, and fascinating, and winsome said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect, said father. Oh, don't cry, Chrysanthemum. See, when people are mean, and when people are bullying, and when people say things that are not kind, hurt people's feelings. It really does. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup. And an evening filled with hugs and kisses and parchisi. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream. The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looked like a flower, said Victoria, as chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Well, let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. That's sad. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, 
A chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Miss Chud. Now put your head down. I just cannot believe your name, Victoria said, as the students lined up to go home. Well, neither can I, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Guys, have you ever known a Victoria in your life? What is wrong with Victoria? Why does she keep saying that to Chrysanthemum? It's her name. It's who she is. Welcome home, said mother. Welcome home, said father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I even look like a flower, and they pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, Peach, said her mother. They're just jealous and envious and begrudging and discontented and jaundiced, said her father. Who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said her mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum felt a trifle better after her favorite dessert. Chocolate cake buttercream frosting and another evening filled with hugs and kisses and bar cheesy that night chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a chrysanthemum she sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chrysanthemum's life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit with seven pockets the next morning. She loaded the pockets with her most prized possessions and her good luck charm. Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flowers seemed to say. That morning, the students were introduced to Mrs. Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was like something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Miss Twinkle was an indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make her impressions. Miss Twinkle led the students in scales, and then she assigned them roles for the class musical. Victoria was chosen as the dainty fairy queen. Rita was chosen as the spiffy butterfly princess. Joe was chosen as the all-important pixie messenger. And Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. Chrysanthemum's a daisy. Chrysanthemum's a daisy. Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted, thinking this was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful.
what's so humorous, said Miss Twinkle. Chrysanthemum, was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She is named after a flower. Miss Twinkle. Oh, look at Miss Twinkle. My name is long, said Miss Twinkle. It is, said Joe. My name scarcely fits on a name tag, said Miss Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Miss Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. You are, said Victoria. Yes, said Miss Twinkle. My name is Delphinium. Delphinium Twinkle. And if my baby is a girl, I'm considering naming her Chrysanthemum. I think it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears. She blushed, she beamed, she bloomed. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at Chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Marigold, said Joe. I'm a carnation, said Rita, pointing. And my name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. Overall, the class musical was a huge success. Chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made the only mistake. She completely forgot her lines as the dairy dainty. Chrysanthemum thought it was wildly funny and she giggled throughout the entire dance of the flowers. Eventually, Miss Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl. And of course, she named her Chrysanthemum. Now you guys, I'm going to briefly share a few things with you. You can go by this and skip it if you want. But there's just a few things I wanted to say. The summary of this story says, from the first day she was born, Chrysanthemum felt she had the perfect name. On her first day of school, she was horrified to learn that not anyone else felt this way. And she was bullied by the other children for having such a long name and being named after a flower. This bullying at school continues until one day the other kids in her class are introduced to the music teacher, Miss Twinkle, who tells them that they are wrong and that they shouldn't be so quick to judge Chrysanthemum by her name. We shouldn't be so quick to judge, period, anybody, about anything. That's it. Four questions. Why do you think the class laughed when Miss Chud took attendance? Would you have laughed at Chrysanthemum even though it hurt her feelings? After the first day of class, 
chrysanthemum wished she had a different name. Do you think she felt badly about her name? What do you think she should have done? Do you know what it means to be jealous? Have you ever been jealous of someone? How did you treat that person you were jealous of? Do you think that Chrysanthemum's mother was right and that the kids really were jealous and that's why they were being mean to her? Everybody, listen. There's enough out here for everyone. There's no reason for us to judge or to be jealous. Be kind and be nice. That's not too much to ask. You never know what anyone's going through. You guys, you never know. Don't start something that's unnecessary. Be proactive and be a solver. You know, Miss V, I want to send love and I want to send peace to you. I know there's someone who believes in you. And if there is someone who makes you sad or you feel like you're being bullied, please let someone know. I believe in you, and I love you, and I think you are the greatest. Did you tell yourself today 